I am Angela Jean and welcome to my channel where we talk all things manifestation, meditation, and healing all geared towards self-improvement. With the holidays right around the corner, I thought I would do another video geared towards social anxiety and for those of you who struggle with social awkwardness. I have shared in previous videos that I used to be extremely, extremely shy and how I created a bit of an alter ego to overcome my shyness. I moved to a new city and I was so sick of being so shy in social situations that I changed my name from Angie to Angela. Not that that helped much, but I just told myself, nobody knows who I am. I can walk into this room and be anybody I want to be. So I'm going to act like I am not shy. And that's the first time I walked into a room and just kind of owned it. And it was painful on the inside. I was suffocating in my shyness, but I just pushed forward and continued to push forward and kind of fake it until I make it. And eventually I embodied this alter ego and I stepped into this alter ego and now that's who I am. And so funny when I tell people that I'm actually shy, they're like, you, they're like, you're not shy. And I'm like, no, I actually really am not that often anymore, but there are definitely certain situations where I feel very shy and the shy girl inside of me is triggered. So it does still exist. What I wanted to do today was just share with you a few tips and tricks that you can use kind of as like a little toolbox moving into the holiday season, going into any social situation or any holiday parties that you might have with coworkers or family members, or maybe you're meeting someone's family that could help you navigate your shyness or your social awkwardness. When something awkward happens, you will notice that discomfort grows when everybody knows something awkward has happened, but no one calls attention to it. It's kind of like that white elephant in the room. If you trip, if you spill a drink, if you do something awkward that embarrasses you, it's almost like covering it up and acting mortified makes everybody else feel more uncomfortable. They make It makes them feel uncomfortable for you and it makes them feel uncomfortable as well. It kind of creates a strange energy amongst the table, amongst the group, amongst the room, depending upon what exactly has happened. So what I have learned in my experience is that to call attention to your awkwardness, call attention to something that might happen is actually better. It's actually disarming to put a little humor onto it if you can. A great, great, great example, you guys, of this is in the movie Pretty Woman. She was a prostitute, obviously, thrown into this high society life for the week. So there were a lot of polarizing moments where she was completely out of her element. If you guys remember the situation at the dinner table where she's eating, she doesn't know what fork to use, she doesn't know how to eat at this type of high society level, she flings the escargot across the room and the guy catches it. Okay, so that's a perfect example of something happening that could be mortifying and can make you stand out even more, can show everyone even more that you don't fit in, right? But what did she do? She made a little giggle. She's like, oh, slippery little suckers. And it made her date laugh and it made the whole table kind of giggle. Calling out her awkwardness kind of made everyone else feel comfortable. So you will always realize your reaction cues everything in a social situation. So you can disarm and actually be charming if done the right way when faced in any type of social awkward situation that might happen. And actually you guys calling out your awkwardness actually shows confidence. Nobody is perfect. I'm not saying to walk into a room and act like a clown, but I'm just saying if something happens, calling it out actually shows confidence. It actually makes you more attractive to have a charismatic recovery. If you guys have ever witnessed someone tripping and falling, like that is another thing that can go this way or that way depending upon their recovery. Sometimes you'll see people trip and fall and they're mortified and they're scuffling and if it's a woman that obviously spilled her purse, she just wants to get everything into her purse and get away from the scene as soon as possible. And it makes everyone else feel so uncomfortable versus I have seen people trip and fall and then they stand up and they're like, yes, 10, you know what I mean? And then it makes everyone laugh and it actually gives everyone that witnessed it a giggle. It really is important how you act. It cues everyone around you, how you react to anything awkward that might happen. Okay, you guys, so I just wanna share with you guys a story of mine that might help you moving forward. I go to a lot of very bougie, stuffy dinners. A lot of these are fundraisers, and, and I don't drink a lot of wine. I'm a tequila on the rocks girl because of the fact that there's no sugar. I try to avoid sugar. So anyways, I was at this table. It was a fundraiser. People are 
God, I don't even know what they're spending, twenty, thirty thousand dollars per plate. So it was very, very wealthy. I knew that when the waiter came around to me to order the wine, I was gonna be I was gonna be having my pretty woman moment, right? Because I know nothing about wine. And I'm listening to everyone order and I'm here we go, you know what I mean? It's gonna be really like I'm starting to get hot and I'm starting to get nervous. I'm like, oh God, it was one of those moments where it was gonna be awkward. It was gonna be awkward. I don't know my wines. So I was like, okay, I'm just, in my mind I decided I'm going to have to call attention to myself because regardless, this is going to be awkward. Okay, so anyways, the waiter came around to me and I was like, by that time I was like the last person, of course. And I was like, I'm very impressed. I just already called the floor to myself because I knew everyone was gonna be paying attention. And I'm like, I'm very impressed with all of the wine knowledge at this table. I unfortunately am not familiar with my wines. I know I want a white wine. I said, and I'm gonna describe to you what I want. And I know I'm going to annihilate the way I describe this because you know how wine people, they're like, oh, it's fruity, it's tangy, it's this, it's that. Mm, big, full body. Perhaps a bit baked. Essence of truffles, long finish, Chambertin 76. Bravo, Fraser. I'm not going to describe it like that, and I already knew that. So I was like, I am going to describe it how I know how to describe it. And I was just like, this is already going to be a mess, you guys, so let's do this. And I just said to the guy, I said, I want a wine that doesn't stick all over my tongue. And I'm like, I don't know if that means it's dry. I don't know what. And I also know I don't want to be sweet. And so, you know what I mean? So everyone's kind of giggling. The thing is, if you don't sink, you guys, somebody will rescue you. You know what I mean? And there was this woman and she's like, that's okay, dear. She's like, I wouldn't be into this if it wasn't for my husband. So there's always someone that will rescue you as long as you don't sink. You guys, just be charismatic. Be cute. If you're a guy, do the same thing. Just be disarming. Just call attention to the fact that you don't know what the frick you're talking about. And so the lady rescued me and it was kind of like a few people giggled and they're like, listen, this took years to learn all this. Don't worry. You know what I mean? Oftentimes you guys don't be afraid to call out your awkwardness just to recover from your awkwardness. Don't sink. Don't shrink. And I have so many stories like this, you guys, because I'm always doing something stupid but i always recover really well and it has helped me navigate social situations throughout my whole life so don't be afraid to call out your awkwardness in social situations one last tip i wanted to leave you guys with because i don't want this video to get too long is posture is everything oftentimes if you're shy if you're socially awkward you will have a slight curve and you'll kind of purposely not make eye contact with anyone because you don't know what to say, you're socially awkward. Do not do that, okay? Posture is everything. Keep your shoulders up, make eye contact with everybody at all times because people, believe it or not, they are attracted to energy. It is not about what you're wearing. It is not about how you look. It's not about how attractive you are. It is energy. So if you walk into a room kind of like head down, arms crossed, like you're just like, basically saying, don't talk to me, I don't wanna to be talked to, I'm uncomfortable, don't do that. In this situation, fake it. I have done that through, God, when I started working on the shyness, I just, hold your shoulders back, make eye contact, walk in like you're confident, because when you walk into a room, your presence says so much before you even open your mouth. Your energy speaks for itself, and people are attracted to energy and always make eye contact. A lot of people when they're shy or socially awkward, when you're talking to them, they won't look at you. So if your shyness forces you to not make eye contact, you're actually coming off rude. That's the last thing I wanna leave you guys with today is to always hold your shoulders up, walk into a room, make eye contact with everyone, smile. A smile is your first hello, all right? So those are my tips for today on how to deal with social awkwardness or any type of social anxiety. Moving in to the holiday season. All right guys, see ya. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the circle next to me. And I just did the most beautiful meditation. Right there, check it out, you guys. It's 20 minutes of heaven. I do it every single day. Don't miss that one. Okay, bye.